we're in Bundaberg Port Marina with a long list of boat repairs and jobs to do. These may not be the fun side of cruising, but we do manage to fit in some Bundy good times while we're here. Well, good morning everybody, and yes, another day in the marina, but another day where we've been able to get some of those gremlins fixed. Rob's currently working on the outboards, the one, the 9.9 .9 that we had on the dinghy, um, it's been working perfectly, has started to play up, so he's going to give it a quick service, you know, check plugs, all that sort of thing. But because we're in the marina, it's an easy time to actually swap over the 9.9 .9 for the 15 so we've dropped the 15 down onto the dinghy and Rob's currently hooking it up at the moment what are you doing Rob? tearing my hair out you can't get either outboard going and without an outboard we don't have our version of a car. So basically, we can't go anywhere. So not happy at the moment. I know the other jobs went okay, this one is not. With both outboards showing exactly the same symptoms, we decided it had to be a case of bad fuel. So then it was a matter of replacing all of the two-stroke petrol in the fuel tin. Good morning lovely people. Well we are still in Bundaberg and we're getting through that to-do list of the horrible boat jobs and some of them have been really horrible haven't they? Well yeah, we started off and started tick 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 tick, everything was going way too smoothly and then we got to the outboards. Batch of bad fuel has really gunked everything up so uh, now we're on our way into Bundaberg itself to get some carb cleaner and some spark plugs and maybe some gaskets. Um, and uh, we have to say a huge thank you to one of our patrons, yes. uh, Griff, who has generously uh, come down to meet us and say hi, and has lent us his son's uh, little car, which is going to make life so much easier for us. It is. And the other thing Griff gave us was? A local's guide to Bundy, with some of the best places to pick things up and some of the, the absolute uh, best things to go and see in Bundaberg. Yes, so, so while we're, we've got the car, yeah. we're going to do a bit of double duty. Here we are. I'm looking forward to um, the bakery that has got the best sourdough in town and the best sandwiches. So. And there's another one that has the best pies. So guess <laughs> what? I'm we'll, there. we'll be right. <laughs> well, Griff tells us that Fred and Lynn's uh, pastry shop has the best pies in Bundaberg and particularly the family pies for meal, he said. So we're going to just check it out. Well, family pie, meat pie for my lunch, a long john donut, iced coffee. It all looks good, and I've got to tell you, lovely people as well, so I think it's been a good recommendation. I'm about to get into it. Oh, that pastry is beautiful. Fresh homemade. Um, it's a chunky pepper steak, and it is, yep. Thanks Griff, absolutely perfect recommendation. Oh yeah, I love my pies. Oh, well, Rob can have his meat pies, but this is the suggestion that was given to me that I took great interest in. And why not? Apparently they have the best gin under $50. So we're going in to check out KM Distilleries. I'm looking forward to it. Rick Prosser grew up around the glorious cane fields of Bundaberg and they're what inspired him to create Kalki Moon. He'd been perfecting his distillation techniques and his knack for alcohol for over 16 years.
chosen the five year gin, which has actually just been released five minutes out on the shelf. Then the navy gin, of course. Then I'm having the summer gin, which is very fruity. And then I'm trying the pink gin liqueur. Fabulous, that look really good. So, drink in order, yep. start this side. Yeah. So, I usually go the sandwich, but they're both the same. So, oh, this okay. will be the first one. That's the first one. Then, the summer second. Right. And then, navy. Yeah. Oh, navy there. Yep. yep. And then, the Well, I have splurged, and yes, we got one of the five-year anniversary gins. It has just been released today, so how brilliant is that to arrive today and actually get one of them? fuel to it. Oh, I'm going to check the plugs again and see what happens. Yeah, so we're still in the marina, but uh, the boat jobs are getting ticked off and ticked off. Uh, the outboard's going again now, so that's great. Last job that I've got to actually do is uh, replace the start battery. A big shout out to uh, Steve and the team down at All Star Batteries in uh, Brisbane that have sent us up a new one. It came up overnight, so uh, great service as always. And all I've got to do is put it in. Now, unfortunately, a boat's not like a car. You don't just open the bonnet, there it is, and take it out. Our start battery is under the floor, under a lot of things, behind a lot of things, including behind our holding tank. Now, we, uh, we're smart enough to actually flush the holding tank out really thoroughly while we're out at sea before we came into the marina. So, it's not a problem. I've already taken it out. You don't need to see that. Um, and now, down to the nitty gritty of uh, getting down on hands and knees, bending the back, getting that out of its uh, hidey hole and getting our new one in. And of course while I'm uh, slaving away in the bow to the boat, Karen's off checking another one of Griff's uh, Locals Guide to Bundaberg highlights which is yeah, another bakery, another foodie's delight. That's where she is, and I'm in the bilge. She better bring something good back, I can tell you that. Bob has been left on the boat doing boat jobs. I'm sure he'll tell you about it and moan about it while I go shopping. Oh, 
all that's left. Yes. <laughs> so your fault. I'm going to take one of these as well because I'm here to see that. We'll find out. It's on the avocado. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. While I slave away on board, Karen lives large and talks food with Rick, the founder of the Pocket. Long has the Pocket been open? That's it. People go, oh, it must be great to just work Saturdays. Right? Midweek, we do a wholesale market that goes to supermarkets and just stuff. It's about a thousand loaves a week we do, and it's me just putting the bread around the oven. So. And that's a big job to do a thousand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saturday is the day to be here. Saturday is the day to be here early. 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 I was told to be here early, but of course I'm late, yeah. as per usual. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows that. Yeah. <laughs> I hate early mornings. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I did miss the crowd, but I'm yeah. pleased I did because I get. Yeah, look, it's a, it's a nice and when it gets after 10, mm -hmm. and that's usually when the, the lazy people try to get up, and they come in, and we look, we still have staff doing it, we we'll have toasties, and, and it'll start running out, um, because that's how I like it, our waste, and that's what it is. So tell me about these Reuben sandwiches that people tell me I would be totally addicted to. Yeah, well look, um, I mean, first of all, we do our own stuff, so yeah. it's corned beef, it's cooked to death, basically, yeah. right out, it's a lot of hours apart. Uh, we have our own Russian dressing that we make. It's uh, a bit of a secret, but uh, it's sauerkraut, cheese, well put all together with a people on the side. And it's a generous soup. So it's, it's generally enough for two people and enough for a very good well, my smashed avocado, I have to say, is big enough for two people yeah. as well, but I smashed it out totally. Yeah. It was absolutely divine. It's very really, yummy. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, we try to do things simply, but taste it. And you do a range of other bits and pieces, like your duckers and... Yeah, um, we, on a Saturday, we sell around about 1,400 different baked items in four hours. Um, but yeah, we make our own cooker that gets used at Pat and Macanagan in Australia. Um, we try to use as much local produce as well, but again, Australia will is what we sort of prefer to steer towards. Um, and we're doing everything. We've got granola now as well, so we're trying to do everything. Awesome. Thank you for spending the time with me today to explain what the pocket is about. And I'm hoping that our YouTube um, followers out there, when they come to Bundaberg, that they will try some of these hidden gems that our Patreon Griff has put us in touch with. So thanks. Thank you very much. Yes. In conjunction with the pocket, you will also find hoti, artesian crafted kombucha, all made on local Bundaberg produce. So what are the main flavours that you have here? So, I have quite a, a, a range of flavours. Uh, here we've got raspberry and rose water, and the raspberries are local too, to Bundaberg. Mango and passion fruit, local Bundaberg mango, and local organic passion fruit dragon fruit, which is all local as well. Yeah. And it's such a great area to pull from, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's so lucky. All the fruit, yeah. vegetable, you know, it's really a fruit bowl, isn't yes. it, here? Yeah, and every flavour that I do uh, is derived from something local. So I don't do a flavour that I can't get locally. Um, we're for free tasting every Saturday. Yeah. And you also have yeah. ring... Use so the bottles, it's all free bottles. Yes, so these bottles, 75 ml bottles, once you've finished them, you bring them back and we swap empty for full of the cheap price. Absolutely yep. brilliant. Yeah. We've got great news for everyone who loves seafood. Karen's new ebook, Hook, Line, and Sinker, is now available. This bright and colourful cookbook takes you on a journey around the world of seafood. It features 10 chapters with over 50 recipes, including flavour profiles from Asia, the Middle East, Mediterranean, and Australia. If you like to shake things up in the galley, this cookbook's for you. Recipe highlights include crab pot pie, seafood paella, saganaki fish with feta and fennel, and Sri Lankan fish curry. Not only are there great recipes, but Karen shares her tips on how to catch, clean and cook a range of seafood. The book is filled with the flavours of the world, all enhanced by beautiful watercolours. Hook, Line and Sinker is available along with Karen's two other e-books. You can find full details on them all at our PayHip page. There's links on screen and in the comments below. Now when we bought our Dreamtime, or as it was known back then, uh, Indigo, 
The previous owner had all of the battery uh, terminals totally coated in celastic. And I asked Jens uh, why he did that. His reasoning was that by covering them in, in celastic, if the boat was actually taking on water on the water level coming up the bilge, if the fact that it didn't short out for an extra 60, 90 seconds, maybe even two minutes, that could be the two minutes that saved your life or saved the boat. Now, Jens was originally in the US Navy and a submariner, so I figured he knew something about being underwater. So, I don't know whether it'll make a difference or not, but he thought so, and guess what? Celastic cheap, the only drama is when you've got to change batteries, it's a real pain in the butt scraping all the celastic off before you unbolt it, but who knows? I hope we never ever have water up to the batteries inside our dream time, but if it could make a difference, why not? Okay, let's see what happens. Straight up, no problem at all. One more job done? Well, sort of. Now I've got to put everything back together down below. Uh, it's been very breezy here at Port of Bundaberg Marina. And we've still got uh, 18 knots at the moment, but it's been 20, 25 knots all morning. And yes, it's gusting up again right now. So if you've heard some ropes creaking, etc., while I was uh, doing some recording below, that's what the story is. Cool. Join us again next time as with all our jobs ticked off, we're up for an early departure from Burnett Heads to rock and roll our way to beautiful Pancake Creek. And yes, it lives up to its name. Here we take a bushwalk to explore the historic Busted Head Lighthouse. We would like to say a huge thank you to our virtual crew members who sail along with us on our dream time through Patreon. Knowing you think enough of what we do to sign on gives us a massive boost. Your support has encouraged and helped us to invest in a whole bunch of new equipment to improve our shows. If you'd like to find out how you could join the Dreamtime crew too and get special access and other benefits, click across to our Patreon page through the link in the episode description below. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please click that button. It really helps us, and it's totally free. If you'd like to be notified when new episodes are published, hit that bell button as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll look forward to you joining us on the next episode of Dreamtime Sale. <laughs>